In beautiful northern Michigan, 40 acres of jack pine forest proved to be the perfect location for visitors to experience the beauty and spirit of the up north. And during the summer months, what better way to do so than on the Michigan Al Sabo Valley Railroad? If you've taken small children on a train ride and they simply don't want to leave the train when it's time to disembark, you may have the makings of lifelong railroaders. That's what happened to Howard Schrader when he was just a toddler. Yeah, my dad took me over to Ann Arbor and it was a little uh, 06 old switcher. And he put me up in the cab, he knew the fireman, and he put me up in the cab, put me in a fireman's seat. And uh, we ran up and down the track a couple of times and he wanted to put me off and I didn't want to get off, I wanted to hang on. <laughs> Never wanted to leave the cab. And just look at Howard now. He and his wife, Joanne, operate the Michigan Osable Valley Line, located on 40 wooded acres in the Huron National Forest in northern Michigan, a 16-inch railroad that's open to the public in the summer. Construction of the tracks, tunnel, and trestles was a family project. Luckily, Joanne supports Howard's passion for trains. I really enjoy it. We have all kinds of people that come up to ride train enthusiasts, uh, there's some people who just want to ride a train, the children, you know, and the grandparents want them to ride a train and get the experience because, you know, there really aren't a lot of times and opportunities for them to ride a train. And a lot of people that come up here are, you know, are people who used to ride the train back in the 60s and 70s. Now they're bringing their children and grandchildren because it was a great experience for them and they want the same experience for their children. Rail fans may already be familiar with the Schrader name because they operate a mail-order train gift catalog during the winter. That leaves them time to enjoy their 16-inch gauge railroad all summer long. The Schraders run excursions with two engines, a sleek diesel hydraulic, and a newly restored Hudson steam locomotive, originally built by train enthusiast Carrington Eddy. Howard and a friend did the entire restoration. The boiler has a unique design. Both the firebox and smoke boxes are longer than usual. It requires a lot of cleaning and maintenance, but it's worth the trouble. It's an enjoyable building. It's, it's like a, a big model railroad. Instead of being in the basement, it's just outside. Because I've modeled with uh, Lionel and HO, and the thing is, it just the hobby just gets bigger. <laughs> and outside, you can model for real. The thing with this size railroad, which is 16 inch, it's big enough that it looks like a railroad, it feels like a railroad, but yet it's not too big you can't work on it because big railroads are really hard to work on. I mean, the tools are bigger and everything is bigger. Money's bigger. So this is a manageable size for, for one, one person or one family. That's what we do here. The journey through the scenic Michigan countryside passes sites that were named after friends or the plants and animals that were spotted while the tracks were being laid. Along the route, passengers enjoy many elements that the Schraders installed for visual interest. There's Howard's restored classic antique Ford, and even a realistic looking cabin equipped with animated figures and familiar voices. Good morning and welcome to the Michigan Osama Valley Railroad. Uh, we're hoping you're having a good trip and we hope you see a lot of wild animals out here. We got some bear, we got some deer, we got a lot of wild critters out here. One of the highlights of the trip is the impressive 220-foot-long Black Bear Trestle. Well, the trestle, uh, that was a project that we did in the third year of construction. And then the tunnel is 115 feet long. And it took us an entire year. We started in April laying it out, and we finished in December when the snow started flying. And we completed it the following year, but we had it all closed in. So it was a big project. Uh, the piers are 66 piers in the big trestle. There's uh, a great deal of, of lumber in it, and it was all sawed in this area. The 100-foot-long Red Squirrel Trestle is the lowest point of the railroad. Then it's a long uphill chug to Blueberry Hill. Operating this line takes just as much finesse and skill as it would for a full-size passenger train, something you can appreciate as the train comes to a smooth stop at the station. The station's classic design was influenced by the Sandley facility at the Great Northern in the Wisconsin Dells. The Schraders also built a large shop, which doubles as their mail order warehouse when the rolling stock is stored in the winter. It's a fun hobby, you know. And a lot of guys around the country um, have come over, have come up. They're always welcome to come up if you're a railroad enthusiast. I know we're a little bit out in the 
the boondock. You live in a peninsula and up in the upper part of Michigan. But the thing is, they're always welcome to come over, give us a call. Well, we've got to give them a ride on the train or, or talk railroading, any kind of railroading. If it's got rails under it, I love it.